Hi everybody, it's Michelle and today I'm going to be talking about the app Zoom Notes. About two months ago, I switched to using Zoom Notes from using GoodNotes. Now I do still use GoodNotes for my sticker book and I have my weekly planner over there still, which I reference sometimes and I will be moving that actually into Zoom Notes, but this sticker book was designed specifically for GoodNotes, so I still have that over there. But Zoom Notes is the app that I use now. This is my digital bullet journal. And what I like to do with this is come in and put in daily pages so that I can kind of journal for the day. I'm not really using this for a planner. I'm not planning things out in the future right now. Right now, I'm actually doing it in a bullet journal, which I did switch back. I'm, I'm just kind of in a weird period where I need to see things on paper and feel the paper in my hands to make some future plans. So my bullet journal is just for recording what happened during the day, pretty much. There is a weekly spread in here, or there's two different weekly spreads and the daily spread. And I'm using the daily spreads. And this is just kind of how I do this. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this because I've been posting these when I do them. So with Zoom Notes, it's kind of a learning curve in figuring out how to use the app. It is much different from Good Notes. There are so many more features in this app, and that is why I switched over. The main one being that... I can do a lot of typing directly into the planner and I don't have to copy it from somewhere else and paste it into the page. I can simply use all of the fonts that I have installed on my iPad and they come up right here in the app. All of this is typing that I have put directly into the app using my keyboard and just adding it in there. So I want to kind of go through the features in Zoom Notes, which is probably what most of you guys are interested in and things that may be different than Good Notes. Now, it has this bar up here, these functions at the top. Up here is kind of how to navigate through your pages and your Apple Pencil, layers. You can add layers. Um, you can add uh, recordings into your notes. And this is like your menu for like saving and sharing out. So that's kind of similar to Good Notes in up there. This is how you navigate. You can go back and forth through pages here. Or you can bring up all the pages here, just like that. And then you just go back. And here's your settings right here. You can set up your pages, your individual pages. So you can choose what size of paper, landscape or portrait, so forth and the color and if you want lines squares graph blank page music paper isometric paper there's a lot of features just right here in this now over here is your other settings and that settings this settings brings up whatever is highlighted here on this side and you have your delete this is like for drawing shapes right here and I haven't got the hang of doing all of this. I kind of have to work with that some more. These right here are tools. And that's mostly for like importing pictures and so forth. And to search your notes. And your undo button. And this right here takes you back to your main menu. So those are kind of like the main overall features. And then here are your design features on the side. And it, this one here has several built in. Let me get rid of that menu. If you kind of hold it down, it brings up this whole menu here. And you can do shapes with fills. You can do emojis. Hold it down for a while. It goes back to text. It has all of the features that could be here on the side. A great thing about Zoom Notes is it has this table feature. You can put in your own tables. So if you like to put in habit trackers, it's real convenient for that. And then you have your drawing tools, your text tools, your eraser, your lasso. These are bookmarks right here. These are your saved options. And I'll get to that in just a second. 
and then you have like whatever selection you have the line thickness so on and so forth and your layers down there so there are so many features in this but i'm going to give you the highlights on what i like the best i when i first started using this app i went through and i tested out different pins because you have all of these different pins that you can choose you know you have like the marker calligraphy fountain pen brush tip pencil uh, watercolor so I chose what I like the best and the thickness that I like the best and I saved those options and that is what is right here these are all of my let me get rid of that my saved pins that I have I have saved pins and highlighters and I can just go through and just easily pick the one that I want so I have the pen type the pen color and the thickness all saved right here so that when I'm doing my color coding on the side here I can just quickly pick my pen and go now the same thing goes for your text when you hit text and then you do this these are your saved text preferences so I have the font and the point size all saved here that is my favorite that I use most often so I have these teeny tiny ones that I like to use in a monthly calendar and then larger ones and then bigger ones that are already in a straight line so just go through and test out your different pens and your different fonts if you find something you really like then you can go in to this menu right here let me get rid of that and when you find it there will be an option for you to save it and you can save it to your favorites so that is the number one thing that I really, really like about this app. The fact that you can use fonts from your iPad, all of the fonts that are installed, and you can save your options that you like the best. Now I'm going to add in a page because I'm going to do some scrapbooking for today because today um, is kind of the last day of the week from the first week of school. So we have a lot of highlights that we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to go here to my pages and I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to find my blank daily page, which is right here. I'm going to select it and hit copy to, and it'll copy it there for me where I was. And I'm going to hit done. Let's go up and find it. And it's right here and we're going to go to the new page so this brings me to the second thing that i really like about the app zoom notes that you cannot do in good notes and that is i can add a note within this note so if i have some personal journaling that i want to do i'm going to add in a note and it puts it right here i can resize it make it real small which i like to do okay the thing is, it likes to use the pencil. It doesn't like to use your fingers. Let's use the pencil. I'm going to make it real small and put it down here in this corner. So I can double tap on that note and it opens it for me. And it's a brand new note all within that one note. And I'm going to come here and change my paper. I'm going to make it U.S. letter, portrait. I'm going to make it lined paper. And I like narrow so I can just write out whatever I want here and I can just take my notes I can journal here and then when I'm done I hit this up here and it takes me back to my page and so my little journal page is right here in the corner you'll add in photos and so forth the same way that you do in GoodNotes and since my sticker book is still in GoodNotes all I have to do is come switch over here and I go to GoodNotes and I find my stickers and I will do it the same way I will copy and I'll just switch back and forth this way and paste it in this is kind of buggy sometimes so just be patient I hold it down there we go and then I can crop it from here. Let's do some freehand. Okay. 
and I hit done and there's my sticker for the day my little sticker so it's the same way that you pretty much would do it in good notes there's actually one less step because when it's highlighted I can just go ahead and tap it again and hit crop to crop it in good notes there's this weird little function where you have to unselect it and then select it again for it to bring up the menu in order to let you crop it's I don't know why they do it that way but it, they do so it's actually one last step so you can add pictures stickers whatever you want just the same way the next feature that I really enjoy in this app is the fact that I don't have to come and click a button or you know an option up here at the top in order to use my tabs I can just be working on something and then hit my tab and it takes me to where I'm going which is really convenient in this one because if you'll notice this is my bullet journal and so this is where I have all of these notes for these collections and I can just come in here and it's real easy to navigate where I want to go let's look at my food log we'll go in there see just as quick as that this I have to do this to kind of swipe through because it is hard to kind of swipe. It's not real smooth, the transition. So I'm hoping that they work on that and get better about that. But it's nice to not have to worry about, oh, my pen's not working. Oh, the tabs aren't working. Well, that's because you don't have that no pen option selected up there at the top. So that is another feature that I really, really enjoy in this app. Those are the major reasons why I decided to switch over from using GoodNotes and to start using Zoom Notes because it just makes my planner much more flexible. It makes it easier for me to use and to add in the, the things that I want to have in there. So there, the biggest con though I have found is I'm still trying to get used to navigating through the planner with these options up here and going back and forth I'm so used to swiping like this so that is kind of a con for me but I think that just takes time to get used to it another con is that at, right now sometimes it is a little buggy and I don't know why I don't know if they need to do an update or what's going on with that but it's not so bad or it doesn't interfere to the point where it makes it not functional it's just every once in a while it's like a little quirk that might like say oh why is it doing that but GoodNotes does that to me sometimes also where I have to like completely shut down the app and sometimes even restart my iPad and turn it back on to get it to start working correctly so I think any app has the potential to have a few bugs but if you have any questions about this just let me know now these are not every single option that's available in here my recommendation is that if you're interested download the app and just start playing with it because when I find more features and I have enough to maybe go over in another video I'll come back on and do an update and show you what I'm doing with it at that point but this is kind of how I'm using it right now and it's working really really well with this kind of daily bullet journal that I've been doing so this is just the best option for me at this point. Like I said, I still use good notes because I still have my sticker book over there. But um, that's pretty much it. I just use it to store my sticker book. And then I am just copying that over here into this planner in Zoom Notes. So if you have questions, put it below. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. You guys have a great day and I will see you next time.